Okay guys, you've seen my big V-Ray scene that I've been working on with all the interior details, all the exterior details, everything. You saw it from my V-Ray Pro Tips video. And today we're going to do something kind of nuts and just take it as is straight into Unreal Engine via Datasmith. And I'm just going to record myself doing it, see how it goes. And we'll see what the results are together. Okay, let's jump right into it and check it out. Okay, you may have seen my interior scene here that I've done in 3DS Max and V-Ray. And it's a pretty detailed scene with a lot of big things going on, tons of detail and stuff. Now I'm going to do something kind of crazy and just try to bring it straight in to Datasmith without adjustment. The one thing I'm not going to do is bring in all these scatters though. That is not happening. Although if I wanted to go to Vantage, that would totally work. I'm going to set up kind of an individual scene for real-time export. It'll be slightly different than my main scene. Won't have all the same stuff in it. Like all this scattering stuff is not necessary. Maybe this time I'll bring in the lights too and just see if it works. Let's just send it straight into Unreal Engine and see what happens. I think that's everything I want right there. What about, what about this huge background mountain I made in here? Hmm. I think I want those too. Maybe I'll bring it in separately or something. It's huge. Just bring in this chunk. Export selected as U, U data Smith file. No way it's actually going to work that fast. There is so much crap in here. The folder that contains my 3ds Max stuff. 15 gigs, 795, 790 files. So yeah, that's all the that's all the large scale materials and all that stuff, plus the models. It's a lot. We'll see how this goes. Hung up on the wine glass at seventy three percent. Literally an error I've never seen before. Something <laughs> I overloaded something. Ooh. Boom! Zapped it. Okay, I'm going to try and do it without recording it and see if it helps my computer function a little better. Let's try that. Okay, I continue to get errors, so not sure exactly what's going on here, but I am getting a message saying I'm having too many error messages at one time, and then it crashes. So I open the scene again, and some errors came up as far as missing materials go, so I hit remove all. And I don't, I've don't never even used that function before. What does that do? It just strips the path of any of those missing materials. That's what I would assume. Maybe that will help because maybe those won't throw errors when I try to export to Datasmith. The other thing I'm going to do, though, I'm going to take an extra step here that I don't know if I need yet. In general, it's good to do one step at a time to see what's actually working and what isn't. But this time, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do two at once. So I'm going to save selected. Just that stuff that I can see there into its own file, a new clean file. So if there's any errors associated with the file because of missing stuff, which I always have missing stuff. I know people freak out about it, but I'm kind of like, if I don't see it missing in the final rendering, then I just, I don't really worry about it that much. Okay, that's saved to its own file. I'm going to open that clean file now. Oh no, I'm going to reset. That's what I'm going to do. And then import or merge that file into a completely clean file like so how do you do this we go import merge all of it mm, this might take a minute okay it all came in here looks like it's working now let's try to export everything visible now should be exported to datasmith let's see if that works export Datasmith file, let's go. Visible objects only. Stuck at 73% on the water glass again. It's either the wine glass or the water glass every time. I don't think it has anything to do with those objects though. Maybe it does. Failure again. Dude, please let me know in the comments why this is happening. <laughs> 
I've got a few more ideas of what I can do. Might have to export things separately and try to isolate the problem. Okay, I gotta try some other stuff here. I'm gonna try and kind of turn off all the furniture and just see if I can get the architecture to come in. <clears throat> Looks like not everything's on the right layers. Clean that up real quick. Let's turn off all the cameras. It's important to have everything on the right layers, people. Jeez, who modeled this stuff? Goodness gracious. What an amateur. Okay, so what if we did it without any of this stuff? So much stuff in here. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now, everything on blood furniture. Let's see if we can get this to export here. Only the visible stuff. Let me save it again real quick. Okay, let's see. Export. Okay, if it gets hung up on wine glass. Wine glass isn't even on now. No, but it's at 74% on rectangle 6406. What is, what is it about 73, 74%? What's it doing at that point? I honestly don't know. This is a pretty simple export here. This should work, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, so a bunch of this stuff is giving errors and it's things like degenerated triangles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can cause issues. Okay. I didn't think I even exported a lot of these things. Multiple pivot locations found on instances of object circle. Okay, I can see why that would be a problem. UV channels, degenerated triangles. Uh, okay. It's all degenerated triangles. All of it. Okay. I'm going to just send it to see if that works. Now, it's giving me errors about things that aren't even on. So, that makes me wonder. Uh, there's some things on I didn't intend to be on. Okay, well this worked. All Turning off all that furniture worked. Probably because I got less errors. If all the furniture was on, I'd get a whole bunch more errors. So maybe I just have to uh, export it in pieces, or I have to go in and kind of clean up some of this stuff. But they're all in V-Ray proxies, so I can't exactly clean up the UVW mapping of a proxy without importing it as a mesh, which defeats the whole purpose of using a proxy. And it'd be so much work that I just don't want to do it. This is supposed to be easy. This is supposed to make my life easier. Let's see. Okay, I'm launching I'm launching Unreal Engine here. And I'm just going to go start a new project under architecture and blank. Okay, now let's bring in our scene. Add, data smith, file import, okay. Do I want to bring in lights and cameras? I kind of want to do, I kind of want to just bring in lights and see if they work. I usually don't bring in lights. Let's see if they work. Because I just want to see how this will come across without really any work at all. Again, this might take a minute. Okay, it says it came in, but there's three textures, something from Design Connected, Linear Rosette Cuts. I need to look in my scene and see what that is, but anyway, that material did not work. Probably because it's using some sort of weird shader that Datasmith doesn't understand. I have to go look at it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. A uh, weird thing that happens when you do this is the HDRI comes in looking like this. It brings in an HDRI background. I guess it's good, but I think what I would do is probably... Do the HDRI inside of Unreal Engine because it's going to work overall better. See, now I'm inside my dome. It's okay. I wonder what that is. What are those? Is there V-Ray lights? Say what? Okay, I got to get in here and explore a little bit. I mean, this looks cool out here, right? This is probably... I'm not sure what the lighting situation is here. Dude, it actually looks awesome in here. A little too foggy. We don't need this stupid ground plane. We don't need any of the default crap. Oh, and 
Uh, you can see I did leave. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe the carpet is what is not working. I bet I could get it to work though. The other materials are working nice. This material is not supposed to be applied to that wall. Or is it? Maybe I did that wrong in Max. Uh, everything looks like it's working really nicely. And I did accidentally leave these guitars on. They look awesome. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. This is, this is better than expected. It comes across quite well. Okay, and keep in mind, in Max, I was just doing, like, all the heaviest materials I could because... I'm just trying to, uh, I was trying to make V-Ray renderings at first with the intention that it would come into Unreal Engine, but I intentionally did not try to simplify things so it would work better in Unreal Engine. I was just going straight on, like photorealism, all the heaviest objects and materials I could think of because the first goal was photorealism in V-Ray. Okay, and, so, and then I just wanted to do this test, see if I could just bring it straight in and see if it would work. And it kind of is so far. I mean, it's promising. Let's let's adjust some of the lights and see what we get. So, like exponential height fog. Let's just turn it off altogether for the moment. No, it looks better on, but maybe 0.002. And then we need to do we need to go into the post processing volume and turn down the bloom, obviously. I mean, come on, Bloom. Let's just turn down the intensity to 0.01. Okay, that's better. On the Bloom, this wood material, yeah, it's working. It's a lot of reflection. More reflection than I want. It's, maybe that's not working super well. The floor looks a little wrong. we got some really, really bright lights coming from outside. There's some reflections going on of the chandelier. Okay, okay, okay. Some books. Stairs, I haven't actually finished modeling this part yet. Okay. Need some doors here. I don't want to actually be able to navigate into there. Okay, well, this is looking pretty promising. Like, I could definitely work with this, right? And the lights are working well. Let's go to the light mixer, or is it the environment light mixer I want? Let's try this and just say... I mean, a lot of this, I, I want to run this with an HDRI. That's what I prefer to do. So what I'd actually like to do is just turn all this stuff off, you know? Skylight. Fog is okay. Velmetric clouds. Let's just see if we can just turn off all of our sun sky. The clouds. What am I still seeing out there? Oh, that big sphere, huh? Okay, so everything's off now. Except for this giant sphere out here. I should just see black now. Oh, it's doing that auto exposure thing that I hate. Okay. Let's go to the post real quick. Go to exposure and just put it on manual. The floor is going to need some help. But, I mean, the lights are actually working really good. So that's cool. You can always go into the light mixer. And this is where I'm going to really wish I needed my lights better. My God. Gosh, okay. Dude. Why? Why do I do this to myself? I, In fact, I think it's not... Let's see if you can do it by group. No, not really. I mean, it's grouping them. Uh, I'm not sure how it's grouping them. Yeah, see, this isn't really helpful here because they're not instances. It's not carrying across, across the instance. What would be super awesome is if... All these uplights, which are instances in 3ds Max, if I adjusted one, if it would adjust them all, but that's not going to happen, you know? That just ain't happening. Oh, that's attenuation radius anyway. Ugh. So that would be set to 387. See, I want all those to be at the same level, and that's why... I mean, I want them all to be instanced. And that's why I often do my lights inside of Unreal Engine. But throwing away all this work seems like a waste of time you know my lights are already here i'm gonna put in an hdri and see what we can get from that so if we go to hdri backdrop just drag it in here what's it doing oh okay so now we need to set it like bigger 
Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, it's just not bright enough. Until now. Check it out, man. Like, that's really quite good. I mean, my scene is totally in here. Some of the materials are not working, so I'd have to go back to Max and look at some of that. But, I mean, there it is. Dude. Dude. This is pretty good. And even the lighting from Max works. Like I said, I, I want to have more control over it. But I also don't want to go back and rebuild everything. Okay, this is really promising. Obviously, I have some things to clean up. And maybe some adjustments on some materials inside of here. I don't know. But I'm very encouraged by how this looks. And my original intention with this is to use this as an example scene that I can do all sorts of experimentation with blueprints and all sorts of other things within an Unreal Engine. So I do plan on doing that. I still need to test like bringing in all the furniture and the proxies and all that stuff. So I'll try to do that separately, maybe in another video. But for now, this demonstrates that you can bring in a big scene and it works very nicely. I'm really, I'm really, really liking these results. They can be cleaned up and I'm gonna be doing that in upcoming videos. So stay, stay tuned for that, subscribe and watch for the next one. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of Unreal Engine stuff with this particular scene. There you have it, that's how Datasmith works and uh, that's pretty dang cool. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments if you're using a similar process or if you know something that I'm doing wrong that can make this better. Maybe why I was getting errors. Or let me know if you have any questions. Okay, thanks a lot. Catch you in the next video.